Welcome to the game of Risk, everyone. I'm your host, Olive XC, a top player at this game. Back at you with some Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals. And ladies and gentlemen, this game, we have a... It is looking like almost a one border through here. Because purple basically has Italy. It's a very unique Blizzard setup here going on in this corner. We decided to cap down here in Belarus and we'll be going for a Russia game. We also even have the one border orient to this game. And black is just there, so they're trying to take over this middle bonus. Interesting. Yep, and on our turn here, we are just going to try to see is how much territory that we can hit here. Amazing dice. Very good dice. Very good dice. And Ash dice. We're going to stop here because purple does have a bonus. We do want to make this a 7 to discourage any hitting taking place. But honestly, that was pretty solid. White is already screwed. Because pink, orange can immediately retaliate into them here. Yeah, orange, I think, is their, their game's already done. Because purple can retaliate into them at any given point. Yeah, I really think purple is just uh, going to go into them, like, hard. And they're barely going to have any mobility to be able to retaliate or do anything about it. And, yeah, doing a 3v1, completely, in, they don't even have the bonus. Orange's game is, uh, I think, probably done at this point. Purple has 10. Those are probably like black and white are down here. Three, four. The only person then that we're missing is the blue player. Exactly. We do have a fair amount of territory right now. However, everything in the center here can be taken out at any given time. Yeah, so blue is Captain Noob Corner. So that means bl blue is probably going to be my target. If I can beat them, I'll be in a good spot. Black is getting 10, so probably black is trying to go for the Orient now, but white is going to try to stop them. So at least no one's holding one border Orient uh, through here. Like, basically, we're, we're getting the really, really boring stuff over here in the corner and hoping that we're staying okay because of it. We'll see if that is able to work out for us. Yeah, and I think blue has the bonus. Mmm. Blue is capped there. Ah, oh, that's the worst case scenario possible for us. So the, the capitals now are located like... This, it looks like. White and black are going to stay in conflict. I'll be fighting off against the blue player. The question is, who's going to fight purple? I mean, orange could, but orange clearly has not shown a lot of skill. They are already only getting five per turn. We didn't see where purple attacked from, though, on their move, which implies that they're probably wasting their ability to potentially snowball, and that we can use that to our advantage. If orange is able to hold, they could do some damage to purple and other people. Yeah, purple doing 2v1s already. That's like a mistake. They're making mistakes right now. Now blue is just getting 5. How do they not have Iceland? Interesting. I'll give Blue a Fist Pound. I just didn't know that they were there. And wow, Blue shows restraint and leaves me alone. That's really good. That is actually so good for our game. That that's the case. That's going to allow us to expand more. And now Black is there of all things. That is quite surprising right now. Why would they be there? Hmm. Shows what I know about the world, you guys, which is to say, nothing.
But with that, now I'm going to go in and I'm going to start taking over a lot more territory. And that's white. Okay. So now we're holding this down. I'm not touching white or anyone else. And I'm guessing white saw black going through here. If white does invade, that just opens up my capital, which is fine for me. Yeah, but if I'm white, I'm only attacking black here. So I think blue made a mistake by not invading me. Like, at this point, they kind of have to go into a full-out war against me. Because if they don't invade me on the next turn, uh, what I am going to do is just crush them. Now, I wonder if Orange Man should keep their bonus or not. No, they did not. But Orange is trying to get like a fist pound to black, but it looks like Orange is having none of it, and they just invaded black. So now black's just in a horrible spot. It probably picked a really nice capital down in Istanbul. And they're just getting attacked left, right, and sideways right now. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. What caps do you know? I think most of them. So purple, orange, blue, black, white. This is where I'm guessing the capitals are right now. If I can knock out the blue player, I have a really good shot for this game. Blue now gets eight. Blue really should just completely invade me and just dare me to do something about it. This is a very big mistake of the blue player. What they are doing right now. Trying to be all good neighbor. I'm not going good neighbor. I'm going absolute giga chad bad neighbor. Yeah, because black's completely far away. They can't hit me. Blues, you have to know when to be good and when to be bad to your neighbors. This, I think, is the um the blue the big mistake here. Because you see. Like, black's not going to do anything to me. They're fighting white. Because, guys, look at this now. I'm going to put 10 here. Put the rest down here like this. And I'm just completely blasting blue. And I'm going to dare them to do something about it. Good dice. We know the capital is here, so we do not attack Scotland. We do not want to open up the capital. Slight slider mistake, but we did not get punished for that. Move our four onto here. And now the blue player is basically screwed. Next turn, we just pincer them. White might attack us here, and I am, I'm okay with that. Instead, they attack the purple player. What? <laughs> Come on, guys. You gotta hit me, man. You gotta hit me. No, you cannot let me own both of these bonuses like this. This is way too overpowered. I'm gonna snowball the heck the crickety crack out of this. Come on, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. You cannot do this. And it looks like whatever is going on with orange, they just uh, can't do anything about it. I'm basically writing orange off the rest of this game. It's all gonna come down to... Does purple want to go into me? Again, someone really needs to. If, if I eat the blue player on the next turn, they're just done. And blue's just getting fives. I'm guessing blue trades in here. Yes. And then I'm going to smack my seven because they're angry, as they should be. I was a jerk. Nelly placed there. That's a mistake. Unless they want to attack downwards and uh, break my bonuses from that way. That's actually probably more guaranteed, so I take it back. That's actually a nice play. Good for the blue player. Assert yourself. They don't even invade, though. They don't even invade. So now I just have 21 territories and all of this stuff. I swear these guys aren't unpaid actors, people. I just have... So now we just get 26 troops, like... The frick? This is incredible. And now how much does purple have down here? 13, okay. We gotta hit this. Yeah. 
How much does purple have down here? 11. They do not have the bonus yet. But... We do need to smack this. Make sure that purple is not getting too strong here. Then we put this on capital. Purple now should just be getting seven. And we have a lot of territory. We have 36 territory right now. White as well is now trading in early. So we're going to be getting the biggest trade in, which is ridiculous. And white is now going completely ham into the black player in a Hail Mary maneuver. I shouldn't count my... This game is not won yet, though. The purple player probably has a kill guard, either of the white or the orange player. That's one thing. Secondly, I, I like purple's position a lot. Also, if I let the trade-ins get too big too quickly, I'll be in a lot of trouble. Purple probably, while they only have 20 troops, they're all on capital, which is allowing them to stay alive. Finally, purple will be spending their set attacking me. And purple's already taking too long. You need to be thinking about your move as you're executing. Like, this is way too, this is not enough time. This is not enough time. You need to be breaking me. This is a mistake. They're, they're just going back trying to defend. This is a mistake. Yes. So blue should be breaking Iceland here. But the value of me is in Eastern Europe and Russia. Like. Oh, and black just gets three. It looks like the white player self-destructed into them. And and they're now, and now uh, blacks would be going into white. And just hitting everything. Looks like three attacks have been made. Now they just go back. I'm going to break. And now we attack inwards like this. Yeah, black's almost dead. And knock purple out of here as well. <laughs> and now we just have the one border orient right now. I cannot believe this. And we're controlling the orange player kill. And now white's given up. It was a mistake attacking Tobruk. I got a little bit too excited. I should have saved the white player kill uh, as well. I didn't want them getting their capital back, though. So I messed up here. Yeah, my opponents are not doing anything. Does, if blue, does blue even trade in here? Ah, oh, yeah, black wasn't dead yet. So blue is holding the black kill. Black must have been located here on Denmark. Okay. So, I should not have attacked Galicia. Well, I thought that was her last spot. Alright. So, Blue gets a 15 trade. But again, Blue's just making all these huge, unnecessary mechanical mistakes. So now instead, we just get 42 troops right now, which is absolutely stupid. And we should be able to get at least one kill here off. Okay, so probably orange is, is uh, all just here. Oh my gosh, my opponent's kill card did every one of those kills? Wow. In any case, though, even if they've kill guarded, I think this is still too little too late. I mean, purple can't cap run. I have 116 troops. No set on four here. So purple gets a 20, 25, and a 30 trade in. Like that, that's crazy. White and orange were both here. Literally, one was white, one was orange. Purple gets both of them. 
The thing is, though, does purple know how to use this? So they're going to have six cards. So they have one trade in. They only get one extra trade in this round. And then the following round, they'll get another trade in afterwards. So that's crazy. Purple is holding both of those kills down. I thought orange would hit one of the spots. I didn't think they would hit both of them. They're taking bones instead of hitting me. This is a massive mistake on their end. Massive, massive mistake. I know, my pulls are kill guarding everybody. <laughs> it's like, what the heck, man? I get no kill guards, I get no love. Surely now, purple or blue goes into me and just slams everything, right? Like, they absolutely have to. Like, both of my opponents need to go into me, and they need to try to destroy me here, hitting my capitals and weakening me as much as possible. I need to prioritize trying to stay alive. And, like, uh, and, and, and staying okay. Because I don't have the set on four. I mean, Blue's doing a great job. They're hitting me as much as possible right now. They're a little slow, but they're hitting the stuff, like, as they should. They do open my capital, though. We're still getting 32, which is nice. So we're putting everything back here. Purple now is going to trade in. They probably smack one of our capitals. I don't think they can take both of them, though. And as long as we have one, we can recover. Like I said, because blue right now is just going to be getting like six or seven. Yeah, and blue and blue and purple right now is just focused on trying to take their stuff back. But now we'll be getting the trade in. And I think this might be a, a boil the ocean strategy here. Both of my opponents should be going against me right now. The key is going to be using my set to try to weaken things as much as possible to take this. Without this game stalemate, we lose. So we gotta go. Yeah, and blue just gets seven. So blue is going to focus on hitting us as much as possible right now. They're going to probably break a few of our bonuses. Not all of them, though. We always hold Orient. We always hold three capitals. They'll probably break Southeast Europe. Actually, no. Yeah, they're, they're not even breaking the um, our Eastern Europe. They're just making way too many mistakes right now. Okay, no, no, they go. The seven goes off this way to break. Very good. Very, very good. So now we're still getting 28. I'm assuming there's like a 30 there. So we have to probably, probably make this like a, a 40 or so. We'll see how much is here. Wow, that's a lot. Ah, and we win that anyway. Love it. We still managed to break all of our opponents here. Purple was trying to hold that down, and yeah, we got lucky to break it like that. And now Purple trades in. Let's see what they do. They're going to go in. Okay, six on a six, but honestly, we got good dice to even get to that point. Let's see how much they break here. Absolutely purple does want to destroy us right now. So we're going to lose our bonuses. We always hold Orient, though. And I think now because they... Okay, now they blocked off their other capital in Italy. That's important. 
Yeah, they cannot take away Orient Capital. That's really good for our game. We're on a knife's edge, though. We're on a knife's edge. Because if, purple, if blue will probably be trading in before us. So even though we're getting a lot of troops, we're still on borrowed time. Oh my gosh, and blue also trades in on three. They can actually take a capital from us now. And then we, we just have the Orient. We're actually going to fall a bit behind. Wow. Okay, this game's actually opening up. I love this. I know what purple wants to do. I'm not going to let them do that. The thing is, blue is not going directly for my capital right now because they don't know how much I put on it. So the, both of my opponents traded in now. This is the maximum damage that they can be doing. Right? This is the maximum damage that they can do at this point. Blue is even my capital trapped. Okay, that's fine. I can deal with that. So I don't think... I can hit purple. I can, though, break blue. Yep, blue. Yep, purple has a stack there. Hopefully, you have a set here, because purple is going to be getting a lot of troops now. All right, another no set on four, with both of my opponents having a set on three. It's okay. It's okay. We can recover from this. We just got to do what we can here. Yep, purple's going off that way. We're still getting a lot of territory. Blue now is going to be opened up on their capital. We just got to keep on pushing it, ladies and gentlemen. Keep on pushing. As long as blue is continuing to just get five per turn, they're going to keep on getting weaker. Yep. Like, they're barely surviving right now. And they're using the majority of their sets to keep on attacking us. The sets right now are going to be 55... Let's keep on doing this. We're still getting a lot of troops. We're matching the purple player in terms of troops. I should attack Sevastopol. That was a mistake on my end. But so far, none of my opponents have hit my capitals, which is important. So that's why I've been keeping them kind of weak. So where is purple attacking right now from? Where do they place their troops down? They're probably on their capital. Okay, that's fine. We can work with that. Purple now only has like a 45 down. We just smack that. We take over everything on the board. Eventually, we can probably get a card block off. We are so close to taking this game and like to be wanting both of our opponents. Purple as well as opening up the blue player because I want blue to attack more to work together with the purple player because both these guys want to trade because the late game I'm in trouble. Blue purple wins this like in an ultra late game. And I don't want it to get to that. Yeah, and I get punished for my mistake of not taking Sevastopol. I get egg on my face right there. Absolutely deserve that. But it happens. We just gotta keep trucking along. But at this point, they are opened up. Okay. And honestly, if blue's opened up anyway. Let's just see what's going on. How much does blue have? 67, okay. And they go back on capital to minimize their damage that they're taking. Okay. Oh. We have a set on three, though. We have the set on three. 
And Blue's down to only about 69, 70-ish troops right now. Their opponents are losing control. They're no longer, like, able to trade in. Right? They're keeping themselves down. So how can we push this? How do we finish breaking our opponents? Purple, though, has a trade-in on three. Blue, uh, see, I can't take out Blue either. Yeah, this game is starting to stalemate. But blue, you know, it's just seven on a one. They don't have to slider at all. Okay, blue has opened us up. And they self-destruct into us. Let's go. We take that. We take that. For one thing, we just trade in here. Slider. Small is taken attacking, not a big deal. And now that gives us a card. Yeah, now purple is going to trade in. They could potentially reverse card block us, but I think that's still too early on. But they don't have to set on four. Let's go. Let's go. We got this. We got this. We have 200 troops. Purple has about 120 with the next trade in coming up. They need to only attack up with that one stack. And from now on, we just don't... So they didn't attack down through here. They don't have the bonus yet. We can leave on Andalusia to force them to do full deployment troops. With the sets being on 70 as well, they're also going to be going in. Yep, we also have a nice stack to move off of as well. So they're going in and attacking, but you always hold Orient and two and three capitals. Yep, so now they're just going to be going back. And using those troops, we just go in. Four capitals. Wow! Purple at the 26th there. That's actually insane. I was not expecting that. Yeah, so now purple trades in. But right now, I have a huge lead. Ideally, I would love them to smack a capital and probably lose 60 to 70 troops. Really, I'm just testing their mechanics and just daring them to do something about this. Because right now, I have too much of the board. They also can't reverse card block. I'd be getting 50 troops if they just did a, a two-point hold in Venice through Gascony. But I have a, yeah, 54! Let's go! They tried to slam me and it fails. They got in, in too impatient. Too impatient. I kept my capitals just strong enough. Yep, and they're self-destructing. Purple is falling apart. We are so close to taking this, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, they go off capital because they realize that I don't think they can win this. So we now we just hold this down and looks like set on here and that's going to be game. Excellent job to the purple player. What an excellent game among all the players here. If you're enjoying this content guys, make sure to su subscribe and follow me on Twitch. This is Olive XC signing off.